Good morning, gamers. And the reason I say good morning is because it's currently 1am, but you know what I mean. Good night, gamers. Ah, <laughs> oh, back again. Um, I don't know if any of you believe me when I say that I've not run a single lap of this since we finished the uh, the EU race, but I haven't. I've been playing some Red Dead Online and watching some YouTube, so it's probably going to take me a couple laps to get back into the swing of it, just learn the flow of the track again. Hope you're all doing Gucci. No bedtime. I would be in bed if I was doing all four in the NA series, but I'm actually doing all right in points, so I have to keep showing up each week until I'm not doing all right anymore. Oh, that's not a good start. Oh, hello, Mr. Boardman. He's just chilling. He's vibing. Hanging out. <coughs> There's no point in... Uh, I thought that had road for a second. It looked like a lot darker than usual. Uh, there's no point in us spamming out hot laps just yet because the qualifying session hasn't started. So we're just going to run some laps, get a flow going. Uh, I'm very good, thank you, Retro Monkey. I actually don't feel too tired tonight, and good news is the stream will probably go on for about half the length it normally does. Uh, for the sole reason that Narvo won't be streaming tonight because uh, he's had an oopsie at work and he's done something to his arm. Uh, so... The races are not going to go 250 or 50 like back to back, they're going to be done at the same time. So we get to get through all the racing a lot quicker, which is nice, it means I haven't got to stay up quite as late, everything doesn't get just, like, so prolonged. Big W's all around. Just need to try and... Uh... Yeah, get a flow going again, learn what I'm doing. I can't even remember what lap time I had earlier. I think it was a 51-something. <clears throat> it's weird going on the track again now that it's flat. And it's not all, uh, not all whooped out and super deep. You ain't got to stand up in every single corner just to not watch yourself. We'll get a flow going in no time though, I'm sure. Shouldn't be too bad. I think regardless, even if I just run a lap that is a lap with me not crashing, I should end up like top 10, hopefully, in qualifying overall. And to be honest, these days, qualifying doesn't mean much. It's more of a, I don't know, like an ego thing, uh, or more, more of a confidence thing than an ego thing. You'd be like, yeah, I, uh, I qualified faster than like, you, you and you, so you should be worried about me in the race, etc. I think that's all qualifying is these days. I think it gives you like a slightly better gate pick, but other than that, nothing. So you know what we say, the first lap is the banker lap. Oh, back end said no. It's fine, we'll carry on even though we're getting passed by everybody. Oh, hold on to a Kraken. I have no idea how he's actually held on to a Jesus. My man was backwards. Oh, just going to take up all the lines here. Just experimenting with them again, even though we've oh, ridden most of them already. <coughs> Seen a lot of Yamahas creeping their way in again. There was a little bit of time when everyone was riding different bikes, but it seems like everyone's reverted back. I'm alright, thank you, Liam. Just hoping for another uh, solid set of results, just like EU. to go inside here but bumps had other ideas breaking bumps dictate where I go on this game not me my lines are not choices oh it's so weird like the ruts are so much different than before they're eroded It's going to give me a bounce. A lot smaller of a bounce than I expected. Oh, 
looked a bit far out to the right there, that's fine. And should get filtered back into the rut. Keeps sending me a bit far out to the right on that jump, and I do not like it. I think I was going to get stopped in time to get that inside. Which is annoying because it's, it's a far superior line to the third rut. That, that second rut is huge in comparison. <clears throat> Uh, EU race went well, Damon. Uh, went second and second. The <laughs> second overall. Two completely different motos, though, to be fair. I went from whole shot and really good race to finishing six seconds behind skills to absolutely dead last, about 30 seconds behind, uh, somehow coming up and getting P2. Yeah, it's get a slightly uh, better lap in the books. Not a very good, uh, good go with that. All that. Oh my god, can't get my bike in the ruts. They're not settling. I will say, to give uh, props to this track and the optimization, I had zero FPS drops at all in either of the motos earlier. Though I think they've done a good job at removing any unnecessary objects from around the track to help people's FPS out. Mine has been perfecto. My choice. Oh, that's not what I wanted to try. It kind of worked out in the same way of what I wanted to do. I'm going to try checking up and rolling one of them so I could double out rather than having to single out at the end. Should try tripling this here, but I just I don't know, don't like it. It's a bit sketchy. And at the same time, I keep getting front end issues in that second rut. You actually have to stretch out that table on a 450, it's pretty nuts. Like a 50.4 though, that's like a second quicker than I had in a year. It didn't even feel like an insane lap, I think it was just cleaner. That's mistakes.
annoyingly, it does mean that I do have to put in some very spicy lap times if I want to improve. Yeah, not a fan of that. I'd much rather go middle or outside. Gained a bit of time back that I lost at the start, so that's a W. I know there's still more, more time in the lap for me. Ooh, not anymore, not gaining that much back. Uh, no, you can't double over the wall this year. Not possible. Which I'm happy with, because it's just a stupid line. I have no idea how one of the other versions of this track in the game that's still born. That man. Ugh, silly front tucks. Get rid of them. <laughs> uh, no idea, Retro Monkey. Never had any issues with registering like that. Don't, ch don't change names at all. What is, what is that? Oh, God, the A's is going to begin already. Just MX bikes thing. We love the game. Even that was just shit. Like, <laughs> I don't want it. Getting a great kick off of that single. Kind of makes my bike go flat in the air rather than front wheel higher, which usually leads to some interesting bounces. Yeah, I was never going to make that. Oh, I hate when I've run a decent lap already and I just have to send it, so you just keep crashing over and over and over again. Maybe downside a bloody finish line jump properly. No, I'm not. I'm not starting that lap. But I'm, Half a second down before we even got around turn one. Right. Let me just hit the last corner normally because I feel like it's messing me up. Just can't. The bike's not moving forwards, it's just constantly bouncing back up in the air again. talking about FPS, I just get a little uh, lag spike at a, a very important time as I'm barreling into a corner. That was not very cash money. Oh, I can't. I can't, I can't with these bikes, man. I'm half throttle, sat down, leant forwards, and it's just trying to yeet me off the back of the thing. Ah, God. Very, very frustrating.
What's that? 49.9. That's a bit better. A bit faster. Uh, I mean, the, the track's better than Thunder Valley. I'm still... I don't know. I don't vibe with them very much. They don't race well at all. It's, it's fine to like hop in and run hot laps or run a couple laps, but I took like two laps around the track and I just knew they weren't going to do well with the road from how the ruts are built. They're far too vertical. They're far too steep. As soon as it gets rough, it gets very, very front-end tucky. And to be fair, there's there's a few more corners on this track that are more than one lined than there was last week. There are quite a lot that are, are still a bit of follow the leader. It's progress, you know, some of the ruts are a bit built a bit better than last week's were. My other complaint on it all is jump faces don't make sense in a lot of different areas. Like this quad here and the triple before the finish line, they're super shallow, very mellow. I'd expect them to send you a lot higher than they do. And then there's a couple of like singles slash rollers dotted around the track that send you to the moon. So uh, there's a few things that probably need changing. But everybody plays the same track. So we just get on with it. We just race and we try and go as fast as we can. Uh, everyone's rider puts their leg out when they're standing. When you're in, uh, when you're going fast enough in a corner, or you hit a bump going around a corner when you stop, his leg will come out because the suspension compresses and your rider's bum goes near the seat. And the way the game calculates your leg going out or not is not if you're sat down; it's just how close your bum is to the seat. So if you're going around a particularly bumpy or wavy corner stood up, your leg will go in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out every time you hit one. Which is something that I have asked for both so for probably over a year now to fix. Because every single time that leg comes out, it messes up your uh, like physics in the corner. It will unsettle you a little bit and make you off balance. And there's no reason for it to be like that. And it's nothing to do with the auto dab because I've tried many times with it on and off and it still does it. I, f I feel like there should literally just be an option or something in the game files that's like if you are stood up do not stick your leg out. these little choppy bumps that we got going on as well. They unsettle the bike so much. Uh, the track is in the video thumbnail, or the stream thumbnail, the stream title, or the description. Take your pick on which one you want to use. There's one of the lovely old front end tucks that we like. Uh, yeah, the, the track is smooth until it isn't, if that makes sense. Like, it's really smooth, and then there's some very severe chop in places rather than like a, a good rough. Oh my Christ, I can't, oh, I can't even get going forwards. I am, I am bad. I cannot motorbike, not to motocross. Here we go again, another front end issue, because we've... I don't, know, I don't know why we have these raised bits around the complete edge of the track. There's no eroding qualifying. Never is. Uh, I don't know what it is in the race, I usually don't pay enough attention to it. Fairly low, because 30 minutes twice with 30 people, it builds up.
what has just happened to my front end. No idea how I've survived that. Probably shouldn't have. Oh, and then my back end's not sat in that one, and then I've gone over that rut. Ah. This is the random chop that I'm talking about. I, I, I can get trying to slow you down a little bit, but you're in a hard compression zone and trying to turn, and you've got multiple, like, super sharp, choppy bumps back to back from each other. And the bikes in this game, they just don't like it. So spread it out a little bit more, or roll them off a bit more. One or two. Struggle to get turned on that uh, that corner. I swear it's on a uh, off camber as well. The game struggles to get lent over. Oh god. Well, guess we're trying another route and messed that up majorly. That cost me about 0.4. like half a second in that one corner. Ah, oh, I don't know why I tried getting a bit steezy over that. Oh, that's annoying, because I know that I've still got like another half a second to gain that. I, I think. Yeah, exactly that, Jacob. And I said that in uh, before the EU race started, and then I replied to myself just with a full stop once the EU race has ended, because that's exactly what happened. God, coming in fast here.
Why? Why? Oh, God. Again, let's put heavy chop in a breaking zone. Make it make sense, please. Scrubbed it too hard. I got away with it. What is oh, okay? I feel like it's very unpredictable. Like sometimes I just lock into some of these ruts and blitz them no problem, and then other times the bike just never sells. I feel like that part is a bike thing over a track thing. Went six down. Any chance of me regaining that? I doubt it. Went five down. Back up to point six down. And off the track, maybe? Try the out. Oh no, we won't try the outside. The outside's a very long way away. You have to cover like an extra 100, 100 foot of track. Give me for actually checking up and trying to hit a single normally rather than just sending her. Try checking up again. No. I'm pretty convinced that that single actually faces off the track. Have a look. But to me, based on these like little grooves in the ground, that's that's straight, and that is also straight off the track. It just you know, forces you out this way. Okay, just making sure I wasn't going mad because I feel like I jump off to the left side a lot there. Got such a fun little kicker on it that it kicks your bike forwards every time. Then you land in a lovely front end belt. And all the uh, trying all the different lines and stuff. Jesus Christ. Why is the outside got so much rough on it? Like, how how are you going to make the outside competitive by adding rough all the way around it? Yeah, we're trying all we're trying all the lines. Giving up going for a fast qualifying lap. Sure what's going on there. They'll kind of lead together and, and hook. Oh, prime.
bro. The outside up is fine to be fair, because you can just step down the hill if you don't clip your foot peg on the inside rope. <laughs> And this outside I can't make any sense of. Because it just kicks you way too far and then you're like, I can't get up and over that. I feel like I've put far too many hours into this game to be suffering from these weird things I just don't expect to happen. Get the extremely sharp bump again by any chance? I think it may be. What on earth is going on here then? Yeah, it just fully compresses because of how sharp the bump is and gets my handlebars sideways. Hmm. Big hmm. I do not know. I do not know. Uh, it's, it's, it's fine, Dio, as long as you actually set a lap time that should get you in. Shouldn't really worry about position other than that, to be honest. UX fizz, I will take that into consideration. Even though when you go wider, you end up in a much smaller and much more difficult rut that takes up a lot more track and ends up being slower. So for the sake of a qualifying lap, I would rather try and take the fast line and hopefully not get screwed over by physics. Maybe I'm just broken. I can't even do my own track. Hold on to it. how I prepare for outdoor races boys, I just go and play my own track. front end. How's that need changing? Or did I just try and hit it too aggressively? Um, that was kind of like straighten up a bit too hard here. I might have to make it so instead of going in a straight line here it kind of goes more this direction to the left and hopefully the front end shouldn't tuck as much. Bit of a bit of a right angle. Time improved by just under two seconds, I think. I had a 51 point 
two, something like that in EU, and I had a 49.4 just then in the... Uh, I think it was 49.4 at least. I don't know. Might have actually been higher than that. Yeah, skills will probably run like a 47, something shooting like that, I reckon. Then Wash is a very good qualifier. Um, I don't know if Ryder's reinstalled the game today, but he usually out qualifies me, so I'm probably looking top five, maybe third or fourth ish, I think. Get to the inside right there. Thank you, Colin. Yeah, I want to spend a lot of time on the appearances of it. I think I'm pretty much done with the height map. Might tweak one or few things. Like that jump just beside me there might make it a little bit shorter than it is, just to help with the 250 guys. But in terms of the rough and the ruts, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, if people complain about not being able to clear jumps, I just cleared that in first gear. I don't know what this, some of these tighter inside lines are like. They're a little bit difficult, but I think they force you to slow down a bit to actually hit it. And then this jump as well is a bit big for the 250s. But you can always rail, rail the outside. If I, can I double this from the inside? It's not much of a run up. Ugh. Yeah, you can. That's fun. Ooh, hold on, Dirk. Yeah, to be fair, there's a few ruts I've not even tried yet. I usually end up falling into the same ones over and over again. Let's uh, try all of the different ones. Like this inside here is quite difficult. Or oh, can get stopped for it. Fire again. That's ah, fine, you can still get over the table as well. Lovely stuff. Too sure what to tell you then, Fraser, because I'm still running exactly the same thing that I've done a video on. That should all still be the same. I mean, you have to remember at the end of the day, a setup's not going to make you like pro overnight. You've still got to spend the time and, and get good as well. Um, should I let me have a look to see where I qualified? Not too much, but it's always worth checking. Uh, yeah, P3, like I expected. 46, that's actually insane. I could I could run a thousand laps on that track and never get down to a 146. Uh, 0.7 off a washed. And then literally two seconds ahead of 4th and 5th. So it looks like I'm probably going to have a bit of a lonely P3 race. Like, what, what was that? AI prompts. Oh, that's new. Generate random ideas. Chat G... Okay, I didn't know what GX now has chat GPT logged in. 
Oh, get part of it. That's cool. That's really cool. Love that. Uh, so what do you need to get in? You need a 55.5. Not a 56.8, I'm afraid. <laughs> I mean, Wes didn't make it in either. Cray cray. You needed a... I think it was a 56-something to get in for EU, so the times haven't dropped off that much. All I'm saying is me and Chicken were battling for a championship at the start of last year. And he's currently six seconds off the top qualifying time. So I don't... I don't know. I don't understand it. I won't pretend to try and understand it. Let's have a look at 250s. People always ask about 250s as well. Basically the same as 450 in terms of cutoff time. Is this, uh, is this YouTuber again? e and Didn't make it. Troy made it in. Big P24. Trying to break out of that top track warrior mold. Nice to know that I was faster than the 250s. Um, I thought the 250s, at least one person would have a quicker lap time than me. And Keegan was like hating the track earlier. But he's uh, probably on a, one, a 150 top qualifying, so big W's. And um, yeah, Ryder is now retired and he's now a team owner. Uh, he's a rider of Ryder Racing rather than Ryder of McCreations. Which is weird if you don't play the game anymore running the team, but fair enough. Fair play. I see nothing about the servers. Yeah. Why? Why is the NA guys like every time I look at NA aerial chat, it's just constant gift spam over and over and over again. It makes it so hard to read anything. Why I've blocked gifts in my own Discord just for that exact reason, because people don't talk with words, they talk with gifts, and it's so annoying. I don't I don't know how he does it. I don't know. I generally couldn't imagine playing this game with auto set. I changed my gear. I feel like I've been rocking the black gear for a while. Let's mix it up a little bit. That's not the right thing. I don't want to change my bike. Or do I? Do I go back to... Where am I? No, that's my creations. I don't want my creations. We're off that team now. We're on FXR. Actually, I think I prefer the other one. I think I prefer Vegas. Yeah, it's much better. And uh, rider gear is what I want. Yeah, I think that would do us quite nicely, don't you think? Get red. What do we rock? Rock the uh, the Linz. No, there you go, Linz special mankini. We've. Uh, Got our hair shaved into a nice number 35. Boots we rocking. Ah, oh, look at that. And got the tagger helmet. Oh, she's lovely. She's beautiful. Love to see it. I say we rock with that. Technically, it is more aerodynamic. I'm sure the FXR guys won't mind. It's certainly it's good publicity, isn't it? I still got it on the bike. Uh, 
Uh, yes, to be fair, I do also need to give a compliment to this track. Is It's much better on the FPS than the other tracks have been. So with all the negatives that I have, there is a positive in there. Oh, look at him. Look at the cheeks on him. It's, I feel like I've got some just bare hands. There's gloves as well somewhere, but I couldn't be asked digging through to try and find them. I don't like when he stands up. It's like putting it all in your face. There you go. Take a, take a big look. This is a podium setup. I feel like I'm getting a good, maybe like a good P3 today. I wonder if many of the bike life guys run dynamic because it's quite cool seeing your uh, your tank up that close. No, 327, you're not meant to see this. This no, it's fine, I'm running a gear. You just you can't see it, I'm just in first person. There we go. We're running gear. Uh, we're just we're running Mimi because of our Mimi this series has ended up being with uh, tracks that are less than set out. I didn't even notice like there's hair on the arms there as well. Who has That's not normal, who has biceps that are that hairy? Especially on the front of the bicep. I've got a bit of hair on the back of my biceps, I suppose, but or unless that is just dirt and dirt only. Might be dirt. Could be being an L gamer. Oh, I feel like this will probably look quite, quite sick on the cowie as well, rocking the whole green theme. But I'm not about to put myself through that torture. I do have a red man kitty, but it hasn't got me uh, my name and number on the back. I've really never done a wee this long in third person in my life. This is impressive. Oh, he's over. FXR Borat edition. Oh, lovely stuff. I can go get a picture of that. I haven't posted on the gram in a while. He'll be laying down somewhere. There he is. <laughs> Which way looks best? Not really the uh, best angle for the gram, is it? Oh, that's a great angle, actually. Off that. Lovely stuff. I oh, know we haven't done race one at all yet, Alex. We're just waiting for the race to stop. I've got P3 in Cordylo, so that's alright. To be fair, it wouldn't surprise me if I got P3 in the race as well, just behind Skills and Wash. This track seems to be very start. Well, I say very start dependent. I started in E2 in Moto 1 of uh, EU and got second. And then I started in dead last in Moto 2 and then also got second. So it's not start dependent at all. I mean, it's competition dependent, which there doesn't seem to be much of at the moment because everyone's gone, you know what? Wonky bikes, wonky physics, wonky tracks. Not a bit of me, let's go play sim. I'm just sitting, I was, I was just wiggling my leg and I'm resting my hands. That, that wiggling is just from my leg moving, I'm not moving my thumbs at all. It's just holding moving underneath me. Try and not do that in the rest. It's, well, to be fair, Dio, this is your t a time for either redemption or to solidify what we were saying. Because if I get a bad start again, and you're in here, it's just proof that it's you. Whereas if I get a good start, we can say that it's just a, it's just a fluke. We can blame it on ReaperDoc for streaming that risk.
Uh, no, the, uh, they're mixing up a bit tonight, so Narvo can't stream uh, today. So they're running the motos at the same time, so we've not got to sit here for 35 minutes in between motos and wet, which is a massive W. By the way, is this, uh, is this PXR logo? Is it like the same as FXR? They've just replaced the letter, or is it a little bit different? I just saw something up in the sky. No, I think I'm, I think I think I'm getting tired. I think it's a bit late. Yeah, I hopefully we'll finish that. Looks like my old logo that I ripped off of Google. Literally is. <laughs> if there's any OGs here, um, you, I guess you can tell where I got my old logo from. Like it's just a lot of people use it. Wait, anyway, is this the Reaper? No, this is the SD the system decal one. I don't know what this sponsor is though. Yeah, this is actually a. Um, this is not... Well, you need a commercial license to use this logo, by the way. Just throwing it out there, boys. Don't want you to get, uh, don't want you to get sued or anything. Just saying. That's the reason that I changed mine in the first place. Just uh, for when I was making the merch to avoid any sort of dramas along the line, should there be any. Still to this day as well, there's like four people, I think, that have uh, like a t-shirt with that old logo on it before I discontinued it because of the uh, licensing issue. I have no idea who them four people are, but there are four, four sales on that. Don't don't be this guy in the game by the way. It's probably the number one way to get everybody to hate you. Just by spamming hotkeys all the time. It's so annoying. Why well, I have chat off during races. <laughs> yeah, have we got wait on. Oh, this is disgusting. Like, they take top thirty and we've only got twenty six people sat in here at the moment. I either don't qualify, so that other people get in, or actually show up if you do qualify, or pay attention to the servers going up. Oh, we got an extra one. <clears throat> got Wes in here, is Wes going to be uh, commentating? Unless he's just checking to make sure everything goes correctly. Yeah, I have a feeling that Rise isn't the highest of IQs since he couldn't use the correct channels in my Discord to promote his series or Discord or whatever it was. Apparently Discord links now go in media rather than race or series promotion, so... W. That got a, uh, that got a delete, a site rocket. Charlie did not qualify. I say that. He qualified for the first 20 minutes and then said some very bad words and then proceeded to uninstall the game. So that should... That, that's... There you go. <laughs> that's that. Which seems like uh, is what a lot of people are doing at the moment. Which is why we're getting less and less people signing up for these races. Just very, very excited for the GP races to come back after their three-week break. 
since I do thoroughly enjoy racing on those. And then Supercross. I, 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 Supercross is so much better than outdoors on this game, just, just throwing it out there. have a time I'm afraid uh, before the race it's just whenever it starts we just have to wait for everybody to get in the server which for some unknown reason takes ages you're wrecked <laughs> that was sick you drift away drift away we don't crash we don't crash we just drift away in the words of Seth Sentry we just float away I doubt there's any Aussies watching at the moment actually it's probably not prime Aussie elves Big W for doing it all correctly, Mr. Assistant Decal. I remember I had, uh, when it used to be my uh, logo back in the early days, I had a friend make it for me and I had no idea. And then I found out they'd just taken that and edited it slightly. I was like, well, I can't be running that anymore. I just generally thought my game just crashed. The timing on that was insane. Are we ready? Are we ready for the pain? The suffering? The random bumps up the start strip? The front end tucks from about the 20 minute mark onwards? They're probably getting taken out at the start because my ping's bad in this server so I'm not in on anyone else's screen where I am on my screen. The Mankini, they're gonna take us through. Hopefully a podium. Have I got skills next to me again? I've changed my gate and he's still next to me. The revs are up. The gates are... I had to back off because for some reason I started doing a Linda launch by mistake. Uh, please turn left. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's not dead last, like... Oh, like I had near you, so it's still slightly better. Well, I'm just going to go outside, Ooh, hopefully not falling off the edge. Stay away from that. Do people want to get in this one row? I'm going to be nice. Let Mr. Nate Dog go. Somehow I'm in P6. I did not expect to be that high up after that stuff. Oh, well, Nate Dog not being so nice to me. He wanted that row and only that row. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll pretend that I wasn't in front of him on his stream. My Christ. Yeah, I need to remember that. I'm not yet to set quality laps on that one, I just need to survive. Oh, that's literally the lead there, I think. I've got on my cheeks. Here's someone, that's Brax. He sounded a lot closer than he was. Need to hope that I can try and get through these guys without getting taken out. I've never taken this inside line. But I'm trying to make a pass. Oh, off we go. What the fuck, man? Ah, why do I try to pass in people on this game? It never goes well. Oh, it's so stupid. If someone the inside still gets sent down the hill. Christ. Maybe I should just be an arsehole and push people wide and take them out.
But she's just been landed on again. Boys need to chill. It's lap two. thing as well as these bumps throughout this corner actually get better as the racing goes on because I get smoothed out. Ten seconds off the lead, hopefully. Always pretty close to a bit of a lap ago. Didn't know I was in P2, I thought I was still in P3, but it's a W. Yep, yeah, must be loving life. Great start ahead of everyone. I have no idea what sort of lap times he's running in quali. We'll see if we can make some progress on him. He has made a mistake, so the answer is yes. Need to slow down more in that right hander so I can get settled into the rut. Was not the not the angle that I wanted at all. What was that? We're going over that rut and over that one. Make evasive evasive maneuvers. Neither of us want this leader. We're both making loads of mistakes. Oh, we've jumped a bit far down the hill, and we're good. That you actually have to stretch that out on a 450. I don't know what the 250 boys are doing. I don't know if they're having that much grief or if it's just a skill issue. Probably a skill issue. That's much better when I check up a little bit. Uh, well, if you think the 152 is impressive, you should wait to see uh, Skills' fastest lap of the race when it ends, and he's probably on a 49, 48. Just to stick in that, especially with the little front top. Oh, 
not going to get a bouncer. Not what I wanted to do at all. Also lose a bunch of time taking that inside roller. Hold on, Dirk. Hold on, Dirk. Big sketchy. be twitching. to uh, inform you boys of using 3 seconds to skills on this lap. Just run out there, just checking in. Checking in on the lap times. That's you in the booth, Ralph. Oh my Christ. Thumbs aren't working properly. Witching in all the corners. Take all the lines, why not? Let's experiment with them. Like all that Red Dead Redemption practice in between EU and NA is really paying off. God, there's death holes appearing inside that rock.
Okay, guess I'm going middle there. Oh, don't go over it. Thank you. Just didn't break anywhere near enough for that last drop off. You went alright, I went 2-2, uh, two, two, the second overall. Oh, that might give me cups, that was a little bit too close to the inside there. Hoping they've been a bit lenient with it. So that's a big old W. Can't be affording any cups this race. He's really hurting. Where I play Claw, usually NA, it's like, no, you're not. I had enough of gaming for today, please, please stop. start moving over to that second rut permanently because the inside's starting to get a bit narrow quite easy to tuck the front end in it Give me a yellow flag for the guy behind me. That's weird. That's it was for this guy. He waited for so long, feels so bad.
Oh, fuck me. That can I try changing my lineup? Ugh. Was six seconds slower than my best one this race. You lose me a lot of time. We've got 10 minutes left for this race. It'll be a long one. What a cross. And we're not going to try taking this as fast this time so we don't go flying off the track. Skills gain five seconds on me in like the last sector. Did I mess up bad enough to get a <laughs> what? Don't know about that one, Chief. Didn't get cuts. Not like one of my better laps. I don't. I don't, I don't get that.
just trying to lap us in front. God, I've got an itchy eye. It's not the time for this. Not the one you think of, you dirty boys. Kind of luck that I, I really need. God. Coming in hot here. I got cuts for that. Not ideal. And I've crashed. Sick. We love getting pink lights for. Might actually gain an advantage. and track her entry from this guy in front of me, just cut out the entire corner rather than getting back on where he crashed. So liquors.
but for a while I generally forgot I had the main key on until the crash. I do always enjoy it. Leading 99% of the race though and then losing it at the end. He's not even got to beat me on track to be fair, I'm pretty sure I've got more cuts. He just has to keep it close for the finish. I don't understand where I don't hear him and then suddenly on my ass I don't understand where it comes from. I'd be lying if I said I didn't intentionally slow up there a little bit.
gonna get it on cuts is the question. Oh. Jesus Christ, my hands. Oh. Jack, why you gotta be like this? Oh. Jesus Christ, my little finger's dead. It's painful. You know what? It's very, very nice to actually win a race straight up for a change because we was both together on lap one. I need to see what his fastest lap was because it's just gross. Fastest lap. I... <laughs> what can I do? I'm 2.6 seconds off. It's actually insane. It's so disgusting. I, I can't can't like wrap my head around where I would gain that much time. Jesus, man. But yeah, nice um nice to get my way win at last. Yeah, Dio Dio's not getting banned. Oh, to be fair I did still get taken out at the start. So we can still blame him for that. Break check was dead. <laughs> I mean, it was partly to not kill myself on the landing, ascending the single, but if it, it had other, uh, it worked in other ways. Oh, yeah, where, where did Rosh, Rosh get? Rosh got P4, Marco P5. Oh, he actually had more cuts than me in the end as well. He had a second extra. I do just want to throw out there as well, though. Like, I said this earlier in the season before Hurls stopped playing. I was like, any any race where Hurls and Skills doesn't show up for, I win by a minute. And if we're just gonna if we remove Skills out of the equation that get back to P3, it's the same story again. Like, I'm constantly second best to Skills and Hurls. They're just so insane. I mean, I'll take that one. I don't know if it's luck or if it was a good race. I feel like I didn't make as many mistakes as I usually do. Especially for it being an NA race and being 2.30 a.m. But it's, uh, that was good, I'll take that. Yeah, 48's wild. Like that, I can't wrap my head around that. I'm never, that's never happening in a million years in, in the middle of a race. <sighs> we, got, we got that ticked off, lad. I don't think, no, I don't think I've won a moto in the, um, in the AMA season yet. One moto and overall in MXGP, and I won a race in Supercross in both series, or in both EU and NA as well. See, so yeah, I think this is the last thing to tick, tick off, although trying to get an overall was uh, trying to get an overall is a different story to getting a moto win. <clears throat> yeah, thank you very much, boys. I appreciate that. And thank you, oh Jesus, Josh, uh, always make my day when you're streaming, much love, bravo, cheers, I appreciate it, thank you very much, man. I know you're always lurking, you're always about. Yeah, what was, um, what's cool about that is that she, on Wednesday, I scored a good amount of points in Sim, and then I come here on a Friday and I get, do some decent races on here too. It's definitely, it's difficult juggling both games, but we'll take it. Mm -hmm. Are people still getting FPS issues? I thought that it was um, well, it was quite well optimized. Someone ran out of fuel. Oh, it must have had a quality setup on. How do you run out of fuel when we're four rounds deep? You should know how much fuel we're using by now. Uh, they usually give us uh, a couple minutes break in between motors during you know? Maybe like five, ten minutes. Ten is usually the maximum. There you go. Maybe it was the aerodynamic, uh, aerodynamic mankini that got the got the win. Oh, love to see it. Big W's. I 
I can't stop him. My front brake's not uh, not strong enough. What do you mean, what am I wearing? This is the epitome of motocross attire and protection. That's what all the fast boys run, it's just the mankini. I see the six pack on show. Wish I had that IRL. Fortunately, I did not. Thank you, Xander. The FXR, maybe I should need to get an FXR mankini on the go. Maybe I need to I need to turn up in like the uh, the Ronnie Mac overalls for Red Buds. See if I can get someone to make me a model swap with on the uh, the 450 with a sawn off front fender. Some screaming eagle liveries on it. I do have the hand gloves. Yeah, I just I forgot to put them on. I don't want to leave the race and rejoin it. <laughs> Sorry, made this for me a long time ago. The, the overalls are public, they're on MXB mods, but he, um, he put my name on number on it. I don't see any real drama in uh, in Discord either. Everyone seems to be quite quite content. Love that. Love to see that. We think it's a coincidence that the guy who spams chat and posts things in the wrong Discord channel is the one running into me in the pits. Because I don't think it is. Um, depends what your definition of stock is, Killer Goon. It's the normal. OEM bikes, but we've all got like different suspensions and setups, etc. Like this is different from default, for example, what I'm running right now. But yeah, this is you know just a normal, normal bike. Now I know I know that's actually accurate, but they they could just round out to 450 because 449 looks so horrible. No idea to be honest. Should have probably checked everyone's positions. How many people we got left this time? Ooh. We do have 30 players. Which is a big W because we had 24 left after the first moto of EU. Love that. Big dub skis. language.
Oh god. Oh, wake me up. Wake me up inside. Hey man. Uh, Charlie tried for like the first 20 minutes of qualifying and then said some words that begin with F and then proceeded to uninstall the game. So that was, uh, <laughs> that's how his evening went. I'll rise. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anyone spell debut like that before. That is wild. Like that is so far off. I think they don't do B mains just because they have the M's class, to be honest, Mikey. So, like, you just get A and the pros that go through, and then M's have their own A and B races altogether. I feel like it makes sense. Whereas GPs don't have a, an M's class, so they do an A and a B. things correctly it's it's the butt how you spell it e D butt so that's putting all of the spaces in chat so it moved past my uh, controller over there we've got another 30 gamers gonna be going to the gate from number two love that E butt To be fair, Clouds, my sleep schedule is a bit all over the place. Uh, today, I woke up at 5am and then stayed awake until about 11 and then slept from 11 until about 4pm. I'm not even tired at the moment. I've got like sore-ish eyes from staring at a screen for quite a number of hours. But in terms of just general falling asleep, I'm alright. That's just what it's like when it's your job. <laughs> Not have anything to do with bikes, really. And uh, annoyingly, is uh, a lot of the scene on this game is NA, so I, I do a lot of the NA stuff. And to be fair, staying up and doing the NA streams, a lot of it is to try and hopefully get prize money at the end of the NA season, because I'm in decent points right now. And then also just doing more streams in general is more ad revenue and then you get donations on top of that as well. And considering it's my job, you want to, I, I kind of class it as almost like a bit of overtime. Oh, so even if I'm uh, suffering and I'm in, in pain doing some of these races, we uh, try and persist and work all the way through. Um, I've never been in a B main and I've only ever been in one Supercross LCQ in my career to be honest. Um, I think that having a lot of MX Simulator hours before playing MX Bikes helped me pick up the game really quickly. Uh, within two weeks I'd done a 125 race and I managed to beat Chicken straight up in one of the motos. So I picked up the game pretty quickly. But I think I'm like that with most games, to be honest. Like give me a give me a week on most games and I'll 
grind it out enough to the point where I know like basic mechanics of it. I probably had like 4,000 hours worth of sim over like five years or so that I played it. So kind of you learn how to go fast on motocross games and it, it translated over pretty quickly. I will not be playing Fortnite, sir. I am 27. I will not be playing Fortnite. Oh, this is uh, this is NA, Jack. <clears throat> right. Race time again. I don't. I hate how these gates are flickering. It's like really off-putting on the eyes. Yeah, I used to have a lot of uh, world records back on uh, live and things like that. Are we going to get yeeted again? Uh, no, we... <coughs> That's say no. How's the bike delay that far and then still fling into me? It's not. I thought I got lucky with the first one that went flying and then the second one kamikaze me. Oh my god. That's just a netcode thing. I guarantee I wasn't even in front of Aiden on his screen, but on mine I am. I'm not going to try it. What is wrong with people? I, don't, I can't even see who that is, Timonum. Why do you go in there so stupidly fast and not make the corner at all? And there you go. That, this is exactly the same story as what happened to me in EU. I had a great first moto with a decent start. Second moto, skills gets out in front early, and I get absolutely shafted by people with zero spatial awareness. It's, like, it's expected. You get numb to it to a certain point, but it's so frustrating. Because it's so much worse in NA. Like, people just go for everything. I'm so sorry, Ivan. I'm so happy you didn't crash there. Theo's getting banned. It's Theo's fault. Oh, and now we play the uh, come from the back game. Try to avoid all these laggy as shit bites. Because the netcode on this game is absolute cheeks. E15, 20 seconds down on that one. Love that. Can't be asked, man. How do I get fucked by everybody every time that crashes? It's. <laughs> I need to buy a lottery ticket. Like you can't get that unlucky all the time that every bike flies into you. It's, it's pathetic. Like I can only do so much to try and avoid people. Unless I start reading the future, I just I can't move.
Yeah, sit in a fucking rut. Jesus Christ. Suspension is so dog shit all of a sudden. That now about forty seconds. Yep. If you don't get punted and taken out at the start by people that don't know how to use their brakes, then you don't get caught up in all of the drama at the back and lose more time. Just off, you're clean, got nothing to worry about. I've got to try it, changing any shitty lines because this fuck can't make a track to save his life after god knows how many years. No, apparently it's going to get better each week. Still have wall of deaths in every single corner. I am losing my patience, and I'm probably going to stop trying to pass people so nicely. Oh, it's perfect. There's not been a single round this season that's been any better than the equivalent last year. I'm paying the same amount of money for an inferior product got to use a middleman to try and communicate our thoughts because he's blocked everyone well, blocked himself out from the rest of the community so he don't know what people want I don't get it I dare try it changing my line to a different one that isn't one of the trenches, then I'll probably just lose two seconds in one corner anyway. It's just not fun racing. I hate it so much. And it's sad because at probably about this point last year, absolutely loving this game so much. Fresh off the back of a good Super E season, to be fair, the Supercross tracks were still really fun. I enjoyed Supercross this year. I don't know who they're kidding, these tracks are not it. Look at this massive scale electrics rut in every single corner. Honestly, I, I feel like Parlour was the best one, which is weird since it was the first one of the year. There is a reason why majority of players have stopped playing in just the last month alone. That's, that's the annoying thing, is what I said in EU, is I feel like in my brain I know what would good, make a good racetrack, I just can't put that into the game because I've not got that experience in all the different softwares to do it. Yet the people that do have the experience to do it are kind of making the tracks good for racing. Well, I'm a big old JV fan, because he's actually moderately good at the game, can get around his tracks, and he knows what works well from a racing perspective. You've got multiple viable lines, bumps that work well, ruts that erode well. And he's quite active in the discords as well, so he's very open to receiving feedback, always doing polls on what people like and don't like. If I've asked anyone today from like an actual pass, I feel like they've all just crashed, and then I've worked my way through. I'm gonna get taken out by that bike as well. No, we got very lucky that time. Maybe my fortune's changing. Who knows? Just kidding. Over jumped something by a, uh, a tire length, so I have to put down the controller and wait for the bike to sort itself out. That was painful. I'm in like peak 12. What a fall from grace. All Dio's fault. I blame Dio again.
Why is it the races where I'm down horrendous seem to take so long? But when I'm out in front, they take just forever. Oh god. That is... what was that bounce I just saw? Like I feel bad for Cat's not. I, I don't know why his bike's done that to him, just jumping down a hill a little bit. Probably going to end up getting about a P4 overall after winning my one so that's a uh, big dub ski. I'm 55 seconds behind the lead. Please just go in a straight line, I beg of you. We have not got much time here to be gaining up a bunch of places. in my head so it's going to pull me over to the left even though I'm turning right. It's big head, big head gang. And any time rolling all of these. Oh, I forgot you can't go near the top of the ruts either or you get ejecto CO'd. There's eight seconds just from a tiny little fall off. Fuck off. I'm so over it, boys. All this just for an undisclosed amount of prize money, because they don't want to commit to an amount. That's uh, something else that the GPs do better, is they tell you how much you're in for at the start of the season and commit to it, rather than having it vary throughout the season. You know what? I am not enjoying this game anymore. I'm probably not going to do NA because at best the tracks improve anytime soon. I'll probably stick to EU because it's a normal time for me. But I'm not going to sit here at 3am to play a game that I do not enjoy. There is nothing fun about what I'm doing here. 
even winning in Moto 1 was not fun because the track itself is so unenjoyable. It's unreal. Should, should I do another fast lines explain video? We just go right middle, 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 inside. I mean, there's one very, very prominent dark spot that I'm seeing in all these corners. To be fair, this one's a little bit different. Let's go back. Very, very dark spot. Very, very dark spot. I got told, by the way, that uh, these these bumps right here, which very unrealistic. I don't know why you'd have a bumps here which aren't in a braking zone really at all, or, or a harsh acceleration zone either. Uh, apparently those bumps are to make the outside more viable. Uh, this this outside that's 200 extra feet worth of track that you have to cover and isn't an actual full rut. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't think it makes any sense. I'm more than happy to quit the rest of the season to test some tracks and tell them what needs working on because that's the reason that we can't do it in the first place is it's an unfair advantage getting the tracks early. But it's shit. <laughs> it really, really is. I vote. There's only so long I can bite my tongue for before I just get pissed. Like, what What am I riding through here? What, what is this? I'm probably going to... No wonder I'm sliding out and shit. I'm popping a tyre going through a rut. Like, it's, ri it's ridiculous. I, I don't know. No, they won't listen to the feedback because I'm saying it in a shitty manner. But the reason I'm being shitty about it is because it's meant to be a paid product that is meant to be good. But it's worse than our she is consistently. And when you give feedback, you just get next week will be better. Or you like to complain to complain, or there'd always be something to complain about. It's like there is. We're we're riding walls of death. Like even the ruts that aren't barely being used, there's such a steep angle, it just doesn't work with the game's physics. I d I don't get it. I I really don't. I wish I had nicer things to say about it, because I'm sure there's a lot of time and effort that goes into it. I just can't sit here and try and put on a fake smile when I'm not having fun at all. Whether it's the tracks or the bikes currently, or the game's physics, or a combination of all three combined. I don't want to stay up and do this. <laughs> it's not fun. I'm sure I'll get a DM at some point. From someone higher up like moaning at me for saying this because i know that my opinion does hold some weight unfortunately which is hard to kind of take into account but like what is what is this it's just that uh, if i want to go and visit the grand canyon i'll book a flight now i don't need to experience it virtually like, it's, it's unreal it's actually ridiculous i have no idea how we're not getting more crashes here like this is such a g out spot it's unreal Never watch who's coming by here. Oh, just bounce up to the moon there. This one's alright. I'm surprised this bit works. Oh, the thing is, I'd love to like just commentate rather than play. But I can't do that for NA because it's too late for me to be getting rowdy and getting hyped up and shouting. Everyone's in bed and I can't wake them up. And then EU... I'd probably rather be riding EU just because I'm still getting points. I'm not going to hit the un uh, the uh, the uninstall button like uh, Ryder done last week, although probably not far away from doing that. But I don't know. I really, I really don't know what to think. How have we got? I don't know how this is formed like this, where we've got a massive roller. Like this this is the sort of thing that really upsets the bike's physics. As soon as your bike hits this because the weight gets slightly unsettled there you go, whoever that is just flopping around because the weight gets slightly unsettled it just makes the bike go all sorts of wonky so now we're trying to like flat track our way through it or well, whoever that was in the Honda there had a really nice line going super high up so you didn't really get down into it at all um, I'm not going to go like super nit nitpicky and talking about stuff like this like should this be, is this raised IRL? probably is don't see why he'd make it so you have to jump back onto the start straight for no reason. Um, but yeah, I, I really don't know. I don't know what to think. There's there's no point in me sitting here riding around not having fun. This one looking like this one that keeps causing me grief. Oh, there's like a little extra divot, divot inside this one. Oh, that's there. It's getting there. We're nice and deep. 
take a screenshot of that. <laughs> In there nice and deep. But I hate this new Steam overlay, by the way. It looks gross. This corner, I don't know what has been done different in this corner well, th this rut alone i don't know what's different about this one in particular it looks like it's built more slanted it might not be it still looks pretty steep but for some reason this one rut is actually eroding how you want it to erode and not turning all jagged and horrible so whatever's been done here do it again <laughs> copy and paste it everywhere that inside rut's not been touched that second one is just the boy by the looks of it. <laughs> oh, I've not got uh, not got a whole lot more else to say, to be honest. And but these bumps here, these bumps are formed really nicely. I don't know what's different about this. And then, to be fair, the reason that this one hasn't gone super deep is because the erode will never push the, uh, the bumps like that way, like into the overhang, it will only go down, it won't go to the left. So this is why it's kind of like capped to where it is. Oh, this corner's fine, got no issue with that. This one doesn't uh, make much sense at all, it's just like inside OP. No one's ever going to take anything other than inside intentionally here, sometimes you mess up the jump and you might land about here where you have to go to the middle. Um... <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to suggest. All I can say is I hope Redbud is, is better, I suppose. Because everyone loves Redbud. I'm sure the Americans will be very unhappy if Redbud gets uh, gets done dirty. There you go, there's me rage quitting in about P7 in an NA race because I'm just not having fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, very ragey stream. Uh, did McChicken DQ. Doesn't say. Oh, that might be McCracken. Yeah, it's McCracken, not a chicken. McChicken. How many laps did I. I only got six laps deep. That felt like such a more painful race. It was unreal. In fact, I only done six laps in about 17 minutes of the race as well, shows how painful it is. Um, so, yeah, I will see you guys on. Well, next Friday, because we've not got any GPs, unfortunately. This is a shame. I mean, I want to go, I just want to go look at a JV track real quick, just to, just to cheer me up. Make me happy. Let's go. I mean, should we go through, like, all of them? Like, this is the first round, this race version. This is the first one of the year, so I think it'll be good to see what we had at first, and then what we've had is the most recent. You know, what's more annoying to me now as well is because I've been say it, like streaming, I have no video for tomorrow, so there's a day that I'm not getting any money. Can we, so before I do any flying around here, I just want to throw out here that this is the exact same price as the AMA tracks that we're getting. The exact same. So you tell me from a visual perspective as well, which one you think looks better. Because I can give you the answer to that for free. And then we'll have a little fly around, see what the ruts are like. Nice uh, nice flat start straight, with no random bumps on them, because I don't know why there's random bumps on the start. Notice the nice little gradient change, where it goes from where the uh, the track crew would grade the start for everybody, onto the normal circuit of that. Nice little uh, split section we've got going on here, no, no like super steep wall at all. It's a little bit of rough going around these corners. We notice how it's quite spaced out and rolled out so the bikes can still handle it okay. No like super weird chop that kicks you all over the place on the face of the jump. Big old sender, another big old sender. And this this part was actually quite like flat out to be honest. This bit was one lined because there was no rut there to help you at all. Uh, split lane, I can't remember what the line was here, but I think these were quite equal to each other, inside and outside. Double our way through the rollers. Then we've got an outside rut which is big, an inside rut which is smaller, to hopefully make them, you guessed it, the same speed. 
and you go into them differently. Stuff like that. Little fast outside here. Up and over. Little split section as well. I feel I think the inside here was a bit OP. And I think remembering back, I've done two fifties in this race. And the track was wide open. Like really wide open. Which I think in itself was a bad thing. And then we need to take it with a pinch of salt, because this was round one that he done as well. Again, like this section was pretty equal as well. We had a, a slow slow inside rut, faster outside rut. Whereas now if we teleport you through what round are we on? If I this what was round four in the GPs? Can anyone remember? I just realised this is round two that I'm looking at. What was round four in GPs? I think it went like Great Britain, Necken, then it went to Mantova, which I think's Lombardia, isn't it? Yeah, it's Lombardia. I can't remember what was after that. I don't know. Either way, let's go to Sweden. We'll have a look at Sweden. Right. Now again, if we're just going to look in terms of visuals, let's have a little little pan round in the map. Visually, absolutely bloody beautiful. Right, look at this, like nice groomed track. Got tractor trails going along. You can see where they've moved the dirt everywhere. Nice flat first corner to avoid any carnage. Love that. Nice little differentiation in line. Oh, this one is quite nice. How it starts in the middle and then cuts to the inside, or you go inside to outside around here. I also remember a lot of people going inside and a lot of people going outside, so that was a nice viable line choice. Uh, this one ended up quite one lined, I think. I think a lot of people were going inside here, uh, especially when the road built up. Uh, so point off to JV there. Disgusting. Shouldn't be doing that. Um, this one worked really, really well. You got to a point where, like, notice, so we've got a roll here, and we've also got just a little bit of rough, just to slow you down that little bit more for the inside so it doesn't get super OP. And I know that there was points in this race where I passed people on the inside, and I also passed people going around the outside, so they were both quick. A nice little flat turn, nothing difficult there. I can't remember... I was going middle right here quite often. I think I also went outside a few times, and again, this section was very, very good for line selection. I was going inside a lot, there was people like Skills going or, and Wash going around the outside, and we usually ended up getting to this point of the track, again, about bang equal, like really good fun. Uh, outside here was pretty OP, only because you could kind of scumbag it and go up on here and like low line over this. And then again, I, a lot of people were going inside here, I was changing my line and going around the outside and cutting back across it just opens itself up for some different creative lines there were people taking all three ruts in this corner and there this one was one line to be honest but, but i mean better to have two corners on the track that are one line than nine and then we come down to here and there, there's a lap and uh, even even this like this is the roughest part of the track get through this no problem like the bike absorbs it pretty damn good and you can change your line if you need to if someone's crashed it's just because it's spaced out that little bit more and it's not like super super steep it's this i think it's the spacing more than anything that does it but look at this this has all been made i think this has all been made by jv to be fair i think he does do like model stuff for a job so got a little bit of an advantage on his side but it's ugh, this is the same price this is what i'm getting at it is the same price, but is far superior in quality. So, yeah, there's that. There's my little, I say little rant, huge rant. Um, I'm probably not going to do NA on this Red Bud. Turns out to be, like, really good fun next week. I hope it does for the sake of the series as a whole and for the sake of the community, because so many people are rage quitting. Like, Ryder's gone, Rum's gone, Hell's gone. Uh, there's, a like... Bad shoes and like Hayden, for example, they're only doing supercross because the outdoors is just an L. I'm sure there's a bunch of other people that I don't talk to that are of the same opinion, but that's it for me. I'm actually going to bed now at 20 past three, so I'm going to disappear. Um, I don't have a video for tomorrow because my sleep schedule is fucked and I've ruined it. And I've been sitting here streaming instead. And I'm going to peace out and I will see you guys whenever. Friday, next Friday at the very latest.